Hey, what's up? It's Comic95. So just to summarize this long ranty video that you're about to watch, I used Yamato Transport to move from Tokyo to Kyoto and now Osaka. So just giving you my two cents, I highly recommend Yamato Transport. Um, you should email them in advance, hopefully at least 24 hours, but you can actually contact them the day of that you want your item to be picked up. You can choose the delivery um, date and estimated time frame. Um, cash upon delivery, COD, cash on delivery, is available for this. So that is basically that. Um, all the information that you need is down in the description box below. And yeah, I guess stay tuned. If you have any more questions about your mental transport, um, feel free to email me or comment down below and I will try my best to answer. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, so these are my suitcases. Or shall I say my suitcase? and my box and this was not a small box or a small suitcase by any means as you can see and they were stuffed like my suitcase was pregnant it was sticking out way further than it is right now i paid a total of about us i think about 136 dollars and in fact i will go get that right now so i can show you yep so here goes my total I paid 13,263 yen. I gave him exact change for it. So that was about 120 ish, if not less, US dollars. And I didn't just send one box and one suitcase. I sent seven of these boxes. Seven, that size. Seven of those giant boxes. That's a large box, by the way. And one huge suitcase. My suitcase weighed, I want to say, maybe about 100 pounds, if not more. It was at least a hundred and my boxes were somewhere between about 25 to 35 pounds each they did not weigh them like how I thought they were going to so their system for deciding how much it costs was I think mostly based around size I like to overestimate so I just assumed it would be the max price on their website and it wasn't um, they listed in detail on the receipt that I got I don't remember where I put it and it basically showed how much they charge for each one I think they had one of those little like electronic scanner things where they like can scan and tell how much something weighs. It reminded me of how they did when I got a gym membership before and they checked my BMI and I think they like couldn't believe it because I don't look like I'm as big as I was. But um, anywho, I highly recommend using Yamato Transport. They did an amazing job. I felt super bad because they had one guy doing all the work um, by himself. So I pushed everything I could to the stairs to make it as simple as possible. Um, and he labeled my boxes for me. I did fill them out. And you can write in English. Um, my boyfriend recommended that I write in Japanese or that I have him do it. But that's asking for too much to have him write seven of those labels. And I was moving to Kyoto, which is very far from Tokyo. You're talking about a six to seven hour drive. And to have to fill out seven of those super long addresses would be ridiculous. But they gave this little nice um, waterproof slip thing for suitcases. I was wondering like how do I put the tag on the suitcase this is a great service if you're living in Japan and you want to move do not use movers just box up your stuff and pay Yamato transport they do not speak English but they do online so you can explain your situation tell them how many boxes you have and they can give you a quota I didn't go through with the quota even though I asked for it I didn't have enough time I just told them like hey this is what I have can you guys come here they have select time slots you can choose so you can choose in the morning afternoon or early evening I think they no longer have lunch time that's like their free time I guess where they don't um, bother with picking up or delivering packages they sent the stuff to me in less than 24 hours it arrived in Kyoto I had my stuff shipped out of my house at about 3 p.m. in Tokyo it arrived here the next morning at about 9 a.m. that's amazing so um, that's that I think it came at about 9 30 again seven of these large boxes and the suitcase and they took it up two flights of stairs and not to mention getting it here I'm no dummy I know they didn't drive it I'm sure they took you know took it by plane but still in America there's no way in hell you would be able to get that kind of service they were super nice super friendly um, very helpful they quickly brought my stuff up quickly took my stuff out I felt really bad because once again as always there's just one person working doing all of this stuff and Alicia was a guy and he was somewhat younger but they're being overworked and there's no way in hell that these people can be getting paid enough for this type of work. But long story short, 
I absolutely love their service. I really appreciated it. I highly recommend Yamato Transport. They are amazing. If you would like to use them, just simply look for this little buddy right here, the little logo. This cat carrying her kitty. That kitty is you. Um, you can also use them to ship stuff um, internationally as well, as well as get your stuff to the airport. I have not tried that yet, but I might consider doing that, especially if you're trying to save money and take a bus or something. And that's the reason why I also didn't. I was going to take my suitcase with me, but I cannot imagine bringing this <laughs> with me on any type of bus or train. It's too large. My boxes I was going to have to ship regardless, and I was going to just use Japan Post. I'm glad I did not. I did buy my boxes from them, but I would never use them to ship stuff. I think Yamato did a much better job, possibly a better rate too. But even if the rate is better with them, I liked how convenient it was to just be able to email them online and be able to tell them my wants and needs in English. Um, the person that responded back, their English was very good um, and they were very prompt. I was able to request a time in less than 24 hours, have them come over and, you know, grab my stuff. The guy even came two hours early. I had to ask him to come back later. So they are very prompt. Um, so definitely be ready at the time that they that you select it because they will be there. And it's really a time frame, so like they give themselves about two, three hours, but he was there two hours before the time that I was initially um, expecting him to like <laughs> even be there. Sorry, my phone's going off. I was checking it. So let me think if there's anything else. I'm not showing myself in this video, by the way, because I'm not dressed. Um, anything else I forgot to mention. So yeah, you can pretty much take your stuff anywhere in Japan if you're moving. They offer um, shipping services both internationally and domestic. International is obviously going to cost more, I'm sure. But for the domestic service, it's amazing for moving around, um, especially if you're going cross country like I did from Tokyo to Kyoto. Very, very, very useful, very, very helpful, very professional service. Everyone that I dealt with was super, super nice for both the people that I emailed and the guy who actually came and got my stuff. As well as, I think, if I recall, it was a girl who actually was dropping my stuff off. So thankfully, um, Sho was here and he pretty much grabbed everything from her. Because that's crazy that they have them like running up these stairs with these giant suitcases and packages by themselves. I didn't even carry my suitcase when I brought it into my home. I dragged it up the stairs and damaged the back of it. But they actually carried it. <laughs> so I felt super, super sorry. I wish I could have tipped them. But as you know, that's not culture here. But they definitely deserved it. Japanese people, for the most part, are super, you know, great workers and they really love and enjoy their job. They're very enthusiastic about it and they will go out of their way to help and accommodate you. Please don't be a butthead. Fill out your own um, slips. If you're not sure where to place them, which I highly recommend just let them doing it, just fill out the slips and let them place everything in the box and on your suitcase for you. Do not mess anything up and take any chances. Just fill out the papers that they give you. They'll give you purple slip thingies like this. I folded mine in half so you cannot see my address. Um, so yeah, just fill that out. Don't do anything else. Tell them that you weren't sure where to put it. They'll be like, oh, like, you know, it's okay, I got it. And of course, they're going to talk to you in Japanese. They don't speak a lick of English, which is fine. Um, which is also great if you're someone who doesn't speak Japanese. So if your Japanese is limited, you can just, you know... Use the bare minimum that you know to communicate back and forth, charades, sign language works great. And again, because you've already emailed the company online, they know exactly what you want and what you're there for. Makes everything super easy for you. Again, I got all of this for less than $200. Only spent about 110 to basically 100 US dollars is what it cost me to ship seven large boxes in a gigantic overweight 100 pound suitcase all the way to Kyoto. No way in hell I can get that kind of service and in less than 24 hours. You're easily talking about hundreds if not a thousand dollars or more in America. I would spend this much money to ship my suitcase within the same state. <laughs> That's crazy and there's no way in hell it would arrive the next day. Um, airmail is like $60 starting price in the US just for like, you know, a package of clothes from Forever 21 or something, which is insane. So. That's that. All I have to say is Yamato service is amazing. Highly recommend it, foreigners. Please use it. Please use it. Please use it. Whether you're moving, trying to get your stuff, you know, to the airport. If you are taking your stuff to the airport, you need to give them more time, though. So make sure that you have this done in advance so that your stuff will actually arrive there on time and get to you safely. So that's that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not paid to make this. Obviously, I don't even have enough subscribers or views for this, but... Yamato Transport is amazing. Best experience, best shipping service I've ever had. Don't forget to go to JP Japan Post 
to pick up your boxes. Oh, last thing I completely forgot. They can also provide you with labels. So don't worry about filling out labels when you email them in English, by the way, you can email them in English, telling them, you know, what you have. They'll ask you if you already have your own labels. If you don't, just say, no, I don't. And they will send you these purple slips, which I recommend you use their labels over your own. It will already have your address printed on them, which will save you time in filling it out because you would have told the guy you're emailing what your address is and where you're sending your boxes. They'll fill that part out for you, so all you have to do is fill in the part for where you want them to go. Even although you already told them where you want your stuff to be shipped, this is their way of making sure there's no confusion. So you can't say, oh, well I said I wanted it to be shipped to this address, you wrote the wrong thing. They may have written your address wrong, but at least the place, the, the destination will not be incorrect. So that's that. Um, you can use their labels no fret they will be in and out in like just a few minutes i recommend don't be an asshole tape your own boxes have everything ready at the door for them to just grab and go do not make their job hard this is not a crew of 100 people you know just slacking around inside your home and taking their sweet slow ass time they are going to be in and out make their job as easy as possible be nice thank them Show them that you're very grateful for them. Remember, you can't really tip them, so try to be as kind to them as possible. I don't know, offer them a drink. Something that you, of course, keep it, you know, keep it G. <laughs> not, not as a gangster, but, you know, G is in the movie rating, okay? Gosh, I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, what I mean is, you know, offer them like a pop, something simple to thank them for helping you. That's what I would do, and I did that for the guy, so... Be as nice as you possibly can, show them that you're grateful. And that is that. Again, Yamato Transport is amazing. I would highly recommend using them for shipping your stuff in Japan or internationally or to get your things to the airport, switching hotels, anything like that. They will quickly come grab your stuff and in less than 24 hours, bring it to your destination. You can even choose the arrival time. So you can choose whether you want it in the morning, daytime, night. You can pay for your stuff cash on delivery or pay at the moment that you ship it. I recommend paying the moment you ship it to avoid any problems or confusion. And that's that. So, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.